Hello, Larry Leon Williams here uh, for my channel, my Cycle Club channel. It's Larry Leon Williams for my Sound Sweet Music Studio channel. It's uh, Larry Leon Williams for my God Scroll channel. It's Son of God, and for my Golden Arc Sun and Moon Martial Arts School channel, it's Master Masters, Larry Leon Williams. Here I'm about to share some uh, things that I consume, uh, what you might call my diet, things I use to eat, uh, help keep me healthy and strong. Uh, one thing I really wanted to point out to you that I really uh, wanted to point out to you, uh, I'll show you that in a minute. Here is uh, some things I like to uh, partake in to uh, consume to eat um, that's healthy for me also uh, this here is a uh, matter of fact I've just finished uh, using it and uh, you can do a variety of things with it and by, by the way I plan to uh, plant this and see if I can grow some uh, pineapple okay I like pineapple there you see it nice pineapple okay and it's very uh, tasty and helpful for the for you and your diet uh, you can cut it up and eat it uh, raw or you can boil it and also you can um, I suppose fry it and uh, saute it whatever way you want to uh, put in cakes, pies, uh, make juices out of them, all types of juices. Might even help your alcoholic drinks. Okay, that's the pineapple, set it aside. And these are yams. Uh, I haven't opened them yet, but uh, they're not, they potatoes, like potatoes, but a uh, different type of potato. It's a yam, uh, uh, they call it a yam. And you can find them worldwide. And they're tasty and you can do a variety of uh, uh, things with them before it's eating them wise and here's my special things I wanted to share with you I'm not gonna make a very long video but these are figs uh, I'm really as a kid I was used to smaller figs and I came about this here figs and then uh, I came about them so much that it started growing in my yard so uh, I've been growing this, harvesting them for the last uh, years now. And they are really a big, big, uh, most of them don't be this size in America. You go to South America and they got them bigger than a watermelon, bigger than this uh, yam and bigger than the pineapple in some places. But here in the United States of America, they usually come only about, you see this uh, picture here? about that size and but now these are that size and I eat quite a lot of them just now I want to show you the ones I had on the on the tree that's on the tree and there this was uh, so big they split open so I took them off and uh, you might say from the garden to the icebox <laughs> to the kitchen Okay, you see they're small, boy, but do they get bigger? This one is splitting, I might as well take it off for some insects like them also. And here you see a number of them. Uh, the weather is probably causing them to split. Early ripening, fast ripening and such. And here you see some other getting bigger. And there's a small one there. Okay, and here's the small one, bigger ones here. And there's some small ones there. And look at this one here. Isn't it big? It's gigantic, isn't it? Wow. And see the ones beside? And here's a greater big one here. Couple. Okay, and this one is big also. And it's starting to split. I might as well take it off. Let it finish ripening inside the, the kitchen. And have a number of these on the tree. And uh, they're all over the tree. You can see them. And that's one there. 
You can see it's turning purplish, it's ripening. See it? Okay. And we have others over here. Smaller ones. And they should uh, grow to ripen a little bit. I might have to take them off and let them finish ripening inside. Oh wow, look at this one. The insects did like it. I missed this one. I was looking for it days ago. And they're quite tasty. I'll let the insects have that one. Okay? No, but don't leave it on the tree or they'll continuously come and get all the ones that bust before you get there. See, and they're flying around now upset with me. But I'll put it somewhere they can use it, but not close to the tree. Okay? Well, that being said, like I said, from the garden to the kitchen. Thanks for viewing. That's one thing other I like to show you. I eat these also, and they're great for me, and for, probably for you also. Bananas. I'm growing bananas. See them right there? Okay, and I have some others here also. I'm growing bananas. I see them. All right. Oh, one other. This is a type of a type of fig that normally you see around my area, uh, or town, and normally in Texas, it's a smaller fig. This is uh, it's a little bigger, but not much. Some of them, most of them, are all the size. This little plant's fruiting already. This is how its size. Let me get back here. You see it there? And it's fruiting already. I've eaten one. I've used one. It's used equivalent to eating. Well, I've had one in my mouth. It's delicious, tasty, flavorful. And here it is here. I'm going to use this one to eat also. You see it's red. It's got that purplish color. And so does this one here. I'm going to pluck it. I'm going to use it right now or eat it, what you call it. Mmm. Mm, delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm. They use the other also. Oh, I missed up a leaf. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Mmm. Flavorful. And healthy. That's why I do my martial arts, my singing, legs for photography, and uh, um, pray also. All right, thank you.